guys. So I got the truck back. I want to say three days ago. Three? Yeah. Three days ago. It's running perfect now. It runs like a champ. It runs a lot faster, a lot stronger, and it's a lot quieter, which I like a lot. Um, so in the beginning, I was driving to an overland bound meet in Anaheim and Irvine. So as I was driving there, the truck was running fine. The minute I got off the highway, it just started to overheat like crazy. But I checked it and it, it wasn't leaking anywhere. And I didn't even notice the reservoir tank. So I was like, whatever, we went to go get food. We kept on driving. And that's when I just, I don't know why, but I decided to look behind me and I saw a trail. And as I, was, I started swerving to see if the, if the trail of cooling would follow me. And sure enough, it did. So I pull over, we go eat, I let it cool down, and then I open it again, and there's this huge, just coolant fucking dripping everywhere. So it was shooting up from here. First thing that went to my head was a blown head gasket. But I wasn't throwing smoke, and it only overheated when I got off. So I was like, what the hell? So I started checking everything. I was at the meet, uh, me and my, my boy, uh, Rick from Tahoe Adventures. Uh, we started looking at the truck, and we couldn't figure it out. We thought it was like a hairline crack on the radiator, uh, which turns out it did have one too, so I'm glad I found that. So I replaced the radiator first, still fucking did it. So maybe I thought it was not, the fan's not kicking on. I replaced the fan clutch and the fan, still was overheating. I decided to run it with that thermostat, and it still did it. So after everything we did, we couldn't figure it out, so I just said, fuck it, I'm just gonna start like checking it and just replacing little things here and there. So I got a new water housing, I put a new thermostat, uh, new radiator, new fan clutch, a new fan, and that didn't help anything. So I was just fed up. It was just weekend after weekend just trying to get it started and I mean get it running properly, but we couldn't. So I just gave up and I went to my friend shop in North Hollywood so he could take a look at it because he's the one that rebuilt the engine. And the engine was under warranty, so I was like, hey bro, just open it up and see what's wrong because I can't figure it out. He opened it up, and it turns out there was a crack uh, head. My driver's side head was cracked. So, we went ahead and bought some new heads, threw them on. Uh, we had to get some ignition wires to make the GT40 heads work, but it's running fucking great. So, it turned out being that. And then, while I was there, we noticed that the battery wasn't charging properly. Since I have a dual battery system, the secondary battery was fully charged and the main battery was just completely dead. And since I don't have that equalizer thing, the main battery just died and it didn't work anymore. Luckily it was under warranty, got a new battery. Turns out that the alternator I had wasn't able to charge both of them. So I got I went ahead and got a high, out, high output alternator. So now I have a good charging system. Uh, what else is new? Battery's new, alternator's new, water housing, water thermostat, the bottom radiator hose is new, the fan, fan clutch, and the radiator are new, the whole EGR system is new, the fuel injectors are new, the heads are new, everything internally is brand new, so the camshaft, pistons, everything, so it's, it's getting there. Right now I'm super happy. Uh, we got here, we came on the freeway, I gave it some gas, me and my wife were talking, and it's cool now because it's stronger but it's quieter, so now we can actually talk. And we were talking and the next thing I know is she's like, hey, you're hauling ass and turns out I was going like fucking 90. But yeah, I didn't even notice it, it's running smooth. So I'm starting to like it a lot. Uh, I was this close to selling it. I was just getting so frustrated and uh, I was supposed to go out with my, my buddy Rick, had to cancel on that. I had a couple other trips planned, had to cancel them. It just sucks because I want to get out there, you know, I hate just being stuck. When I get days off, I want to fucking do something. So, I was a little, I was, sorry, I was this close to selling it, but decided just to keep it, decided to make it work. Uh, I love this thing, I'll probably never sell it, it's just, you know, when you get frustrated, it's just, you ask yourself, is it worth it, but I love this thing, it runs like a champ, it's a beautiful truck, uh, even though I've done a lot of things to it, I try to keep it as stock as I can, but for the most part, it's running great. I'm really happy with it right now. Uh, I have a couple trips planned coming up, so yeah. Oh, another thing is I have AC now, so I did the retrofit, and I'm very happy with that. I have finally have AC, even though it's not hot anymore, but 
it's always it always comes in handy to have AC, especially on a long trip, especially with my daughter and my wife in the in the truck. It's gonna come in handy. So yeah, uh, this is an update. I'm not gonna sell it no more. So for those people that were asking, sorry, I'm not gonna sell it no more. But yeah, very happy with it. Uh, they did a great job. I recommend them a lot. If you guys ever need anything, uh, let me know and I'll give you their information because they do a hell of a job. They kind of took their time, but I'm glad they did because it, everything turned out perfect. So right now all I want to do is uh, check everything all over again, but I really want to check the suspension because that's my next thing I'm going to do because now I'm starting to feel everything that I hit, which before I didn't feel that. So I don't know why or what happened, but yeah, definitely some upgraded shocks, some new springs for sure. I want to do some new leaf springs in the back for sure. Some new shocks in the back as well and just get this thing ready so that's the update sorry for it being a day late uh, i knew i was gonna post it friday or saturday but i have to work so yeah that's the update uh thank you guys for watching enjoy subscribe tell your friends tell their grandmas tell their moms I'm a cool guy they like me um yeah have a great day everybody have a safe and happy new year I'm starting early so I'll have to drive drunk later. So have a good one. Enjoy. Mm-hmm.